This is what people don't understand about Blade, okay? Only use me blade. Yes, the same one with the fucking legs sure rotting away. Yes, the very same fun to get yes, drunk the with guy because he's like an absolute fucking imbecile. Hear me, out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Very smart. Very good friend. Very intelligent. However, compared to a chimp, when he <laughs> drinks alcohol, we're dealing with blade type B. Okay. I'm talking about type A. I was friends with type A. Type B is the drunk guy that you guys all see online. All right. These are two different fucking people. I, I do appreciate that day. because we did a podcast that was never released with only use me blade while all the shit day. was going right, on. Just, and he was fine. He was fine. He was very people respectful. People are like, how, I, how are you even friends with him? That's drunk blade. That's a different person than sober blade. They're two different people. I swear to God. Blade okay. tried to fuck his fans fucking wife. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you it's mean? Funny, I don't care how much alcohol <laughs> I've had. Let me tell the story. All right, tell the story. Tell it is funny. Story. It is funny. Let Scott, more shots. Let Yuri, more shots. So you, you ruined it. Yuri, can I get a, a water, way. please? You ruined it by setting it up that way. All right, okay. Keem Cold One's clip talks about only use me blade. Let's go. <laughs> I did a fan meetup in Kansas City, okay? And it was 2016. An ice storm was coming in, right? So we were about to cancel the fan meetup. The fan meetup was on Saturday. Ice storm coming in, about to cancel it. So we said to people, we're like, listen, you know what we're going to do? Let's go Friday where the weather hasn't hit, the ice storm hasn't come in. Let's do a fan meetup Friday, and we'll just change the date and see if people want to come. We'll still go Saturday when we're planned, but let's just tell them Friday. So we tell people, hey, man, a big ice storm tomorrow, so shit might be bad. We might have to cancel. Just come out tonight. Come out tonight to the bar. Only like 20 people came out because it was just from a tweet, right? One of the guy that comes, one of the guys that comes out, looks at Blade and he says, "Blade, I'm a huge fan of you." And Blade's like, "Oh, that's awesome, man." He goes, "No, you don't get it. I've been watching you since I've been a little kid." He's like, "You're my hero." And Blade's like, "Oh, dude, that's awesome, man." This guy's already let, retarded. Let me then. buy you a drink, right? Blade was a legend back in the day. Dirt before he was a live streamer, he was a Call of Duty legend mm -hmm. on YouTube. Wouldn't say legend. No, he was a legitimate legend. He was an icon in YouTube 2009, 2010, 2011. Throughout those years, he was a, he was like a, a ninja. Like ninja today. He He's was like- sneaking anywhere. He was on that caliber. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he ran around Call of Duty and knifed the fuck out of people. He was a god. So this guy's a fan of him and he's like, oh, you're my hero. All of a sudden, this same guy who's the fanboy drops to one knee and he goes, Blade, I wanted to do this in front of you. I and he's there with you. his girlfriend, right? He drops down on one knee and proposes to his girlfriend. He goes, I wanted to do this in front of babe, ba baby. I love you. Will you marry me? And she says, yes. And she's crying and he's crying. And Blade's like, yo, this is awesome. Jagger bombs. <laughs> and we're all do shots. And it's like this beautiful moment just happened with this super big fanboy, right? The next day, 500 people showed up to the fan meetup through the ice and storm. It was awesome. They came back. Great time. Fast forward a year and a half. Blade gets banned off of Twitch because he's doing some fucked up drunk. Oh, I'll tell you what he did. Twitch. He put he got a donation to put a finger in his asshole. In his butthole, yes. So he bent over <laughs> and he shoved his finger in his asshole for like, it was like a hundred bucks. The Friday night. But a year, <laughs> a year and a half later, Blade gets banned off of Twitch. And it's New Year's, okay? And at New Year's, uh, he lives with Big Fultz and some other Twitch streamers. They're having a big Twitch New Year's party. They're big at the time. They're not big anymore. And they're all streaming on Twitch. But Blade is banned on Twitch, so he has to stream down in the basement. And this isn't this isn't a basement. This is an unfinished beams, unconstructed walls basement. It looks like a crack den. Yeah, Go anyhow. On. So Blade's down in the basement streaming on YouTube. All the other streamers are up there on Twitch and they're having a party and they decide that they're going to invite their biggest donators on their streams to this New Year's party. So Big Folds and the other streamers, they have all these random fans at the party and Blade was like, okay, who's my biggest fan? Who's my biggest donation? Well, it was the guy that proposed to his wife in front of him, right? So he invites him. So that guy comes with his fucking brand new wife because they did get married within this year and a half time frame, right? Everyone's partying upstairs, having a good time. Well, the super fan of Blade's wife comes downstairs and starts hanging out with Blade on Blade's stream because Blade's all by himself. They're drinking and Blade's like, ah, have a shot. So she has a shot, he has a shot. And then he starts grabbing her titty. <laughs> 
And I'm like, what is happening right now? Okay. Then they start making out. Blade is making out with this girl. I'm married at the summer. Just they're engaged. married. Okay, yeah. Married. Grabs her titty, making out with her. All of a sudden, I see the super fan walk down the stairs behind them. He looks directly at them. He looks directly at them. And it goes, oh, my God, and turns around and goes back upstairs. And Blade, <laughs> Blade quickly turns around. He's like, oh, Shibby, Shibby, come over here and have a drink with us. And he's like, oh, Shibby, come on. Like, dude, it was so bad. So now Blade is busted, okay? He just started grabbing the titty and making out with his biggest fan's wife that proposed in front of him. Like, you cannot write a better fucking story, right? So this is why he likes Blade. Yes. He likes watching a train wreck. That's why you, you have a fucking drama channel. Who is more entertaining than this? Who, uh, who I'm is not more saying it's not entertaining. It's like watching a train wreck there is, is entertaining. There is literally no yeah. one on YouTube it's that not, would do it's something not, it's like not, that. It's not not entertaining, but it's not respectable. Of course it's not respectable, but I don't care. We're not on the fucking respect tube. We're on the fucking YouTube. And all right, entertainment all right. trumps all. Entertainment trumps all. Teams like train wreck, I'm in. I want to wa watch my best friend go downhill. Anyhow, Blade has been busted. Blade is making out with the super fan that proposed to his wife's wife, and he's been busted. It is done, it is over, Blade is exposed. The guy goes back upstairs, and then Blade literally starts fingering the girl, oh my goes in deep, and like continues. And it's just, that's, that's, that's the story. And then later that night- Are they still together? What yes, a fucking yes, dream. So that's that, that that's who Keemstar calls his good friend. No, he's not my friend anymore because he threw the dog. Oh, it wasn't the fucking his fan's wife part. That I don't care about that. That was funny. Sorry, but you you married a whore, kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, you just love train wrecks.